Hey YouTubers, my name's Ian, and I'm here for Great Broad because she wanted me to read aloud to you a letter of hers that was published in the editorial section of the Kane County Chronicle on Thursday, June 24th. Uh, and she wrote this letter in response to another editorial that had been written by Dan Barrow of Batavia. Uh, his letter was entitled, The Real Cul Culprit in the Oil Spill Catastrophe, and it was basically blaming Obama and his administration for what's going on with the oil spill. Uh, and this was Great Bob's response. A correction from Mr. Barrow to the editor. I was nodding my head in agreement with Mr. Barrow this morning, but almost spit out my coffee at his closing. Correction, sir. It was Dick Cheney, a CEO, who created the culture over at Halliburton of profit over precautionary measures. It was under the Bush administration, a Republican president, where the U.S. government was stripped of regulation and oversight. It was deregulation within Dick Cheney's energy task force that the content of North America is faced with deep water drilling, with no remote shutoff capability or pressure release wells. We are the only country in the world not to mandate either of these environmental protection measures in place before deep water drilling. Let us not forget, under the last Democratic president, we were left with a U.S. budget projected surplus. The world was at peace, and the Gulf of Mexico was the color of topaz. None of what's happening today with the BP oil spill is President Obama's fault. That dog just doesn't walk, Mr. Barrow. You just heard Ian read my letter to the editor, and today I opened my mail and I got an anonymous insulting letter about my letter to the editor, so I thought we'd add it on since it's here. It says, Diana, saw your letter to the editor June 24th. Let's face it, Diana, you are a hardcore Democrat. No socialist is better like it communist Marxist mentality. Nothing Obama could do would ever offend you. I almost spit, at my spit out my coffee when I read your letter. Your head is in the sand. As our country goes down the tubes, keep on writing your pro-Obama letters. You are so obtuse. Well, one thing I am is I'm courageous enough to sign my name and say what I feel and have the courage to stand by my convictions, letter writer. Where you, on the other hand, are like one of those uh, neocon chicken hawks who get out of Vietnam deferment several times and sending our boys to war in Iraq for several tours of duty. That's what I think of you. I am an American and I have kids. I want my kids to be prosperous. I want them to be free. I want them to love their country. And it's not Amer it's American. It's not Republican or Democrat. I just want this country to be the what it should be. And it definitely is a mess right now. Thanks for watching.